this is numerical 3 on energy and power signals. The question is determine whether x of n is energy or power signal. x of n is given as x of n is equal to sin, three, uh, sin pi by 3 into n. Let's start with the solution. We know the formula for energy. Energy is given by E is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n the whole square. Let's substitute the value of x of n in the equation. Summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity sine of pi by 3 into n the whole square. This is nothing but summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity sine square pi by 3 n. Okay. Now, I have a trigonometry formula for this particular sine equation. Okay. The formula is given by sine square theta is equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta upon 2. Okay, so, this is the formula that I am going to be using in the next step. Okay, so, now I am replacing this, uh, this formula with this formula and I am going to get it as summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity 1 minus cos 2 pi by 3 into n upon 2. Okay, now I take my 1 by 2 outside. Okay. And then I have summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity 1 minus cos of 2 pi by 3 into n. Correct? Now, my next step would be to determine the value uh, of these individual components. Okay. Now, before that, I am going to just bifurcate the two components with the summation sign. So, minus infinity to infinity 1 minus summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity cos of 2 pi by 3 into n. Now, let us see these terms one by one. Now, let us say this is A and this is B. Okay? Now, for A, what I am going to do is sum of infinite ones is how much? it is nothing but infinity. So, my A term is going to be infinity. Okay? Now, let us concentrate on term B. Okay? I am looking at term B now. All right? What is term B? Summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity cos of 2 pi by 3 into n. Okay? Now, let us say my n is equal to 0. That means my cos 0 will be 1. Okay? Let us say my n is equal to 1. My cos 2 pi by 3 is going to be minus half. Let us say my n is equal to 2. My cos 4 pi by 3 is going to be plus half okay minus half okay so now if i add these three so it will go it's going to be 1 plus minus half minus half so 1 minus 1 which is nothing but 0 okay now i'm just taking three values okay and these uh, if I take these three values, my sum is going to be 0. Similarly, if I take any, uh, if I take three values from minus infinity to infinity, okay, eventually my sum is going to be 0, okay. Even if it is not 0, it is always going to be less than 0, uh, less than, between 0 to 1. And less than 0, always, sorry, always less, uh, excuse me for that less than 1. Okay? That is why we consider, consider it as 0. Okay? So, now this entire term is going to be 0. 
all right so let's get back to my numerical over here okay so my term a is nothing but infinity and my term b is equal to 0 okay so the answer is going to be infinity so my energy is infinite my energy is infinite now since my energy is infinite what i'm going to do is i'm going to find the power of the signal okay i'll take this on the next page okay power of signal all right so now the formula for power is p is equal to limit n tends to infinity 1 upon 2n plus 1 summation of n is equal to minus capital N to plus capital N x of n the whole square substituting the value of x of n I have limit n tends to infinity 1 upon 2n plus 1 summation of n is equal to minus capital N to plus capital N sine of pi by 3 n the whole square okay now the same thing that we did when we were calculating energy signal is we apply the formula of sine square theta okay so I am just going to do that in the next few steps so this is going to be sine square pi by 3 n right so now what I am going to do is apply the formula The formula is 1 minus cos 2 theta upon 2. Okay. Now, uh, so let's just divide this. Let's take the 2 outside. Limit n tends to infinity 1 upon 2n plus 1 into 1 by 2 I have taken this 2 outside okay outside the summation formula summation of n is equal to minus capital N to plus capital N 1 okay let me just put this in bracket so this is 1 minus summation of n is equal to minus capital N to plus capital N cos 2 pi by 3 into n okay now let's call this term a and let's call this term b okay now now my b is already calculated according to this logic eventually my cos value is going to come up to zero so this entire term is going to be zero okay according to the logic that i've explained over here all right let's look at the term a okay what is a a is nothing but summation of n is equal to minus capital n to plus capital n times 1 okay now let's consider this how many times will 1 be added from 1 to n if the limits were from 1 to n, how many times would 1 be added? It would be added n times, correct? If my limits were from 1 to n, it would be added n times, okay? The second question that you are going to ask yourself is, how many times will 1 be added from 0 to n okay now when 1 is added from 1 to n it is added n times so from 0 to n that extra 0 position is added that means 1 will be added one more time for 0 that means it will be added for n plus 1 times okay see question number one when you understand how you get 
n times how you are adding one n number of times okay you will understand how you are adding one from zero to n number of times for that one zero position you are taking n plus one so it is going to be n plus one number of times now the third question that you are going to ask yourself is how many times will one be added from minus 1 to minus n number of times it this the third question is the same as first question if i put minus sign over here right okay so now my answer is going to be the same the answer is going to be n times okay now what are the limits in this particular term the limits are from minus n to n that means i have to consider these two questions my limits go from minus n to n that means what i'm going to do eventually is i have to add 2 and 3 okay so i have to add n plus 1 and i have to add n okay so from my limit n is equal to minus n to n n is going to be added for how many times it is going to be added for n plus 1 plus n which is nothing but 2n plus 1 times for this particular component 1 is going to be added for 2n plus 1 times okay so this is the logic behind computing the value for a all right so here in place of a or in place of this term i am going to write 2n plus 1 okay so let's take it on the next page So, I have my limit n tends to infinity 1 upon 2n plus 1 into 1 by 2 which I had taken out into 2n plus 1 minus what was the b term that we got 0. So, we are going to discard it. So, I am just going to write, write it for your understanding and I am going to discard it in the next step. Okay, so this is the value for A and this is the value for B that we had, that we have computed previously. Okay, now what will happen is 2n plus 1, 2n plus 1 will get cancelled out. Okay, so and my answer is going to be a finite 1 by 2. Okay, so like when my energy in this particular sum x of n had energy as infinity. So, I knew that I would get a non-zero or non-infinite value for my power which is nothing but 1 by 2 joules. Okay, so x of n is a power signal with power of 0 0.5 joules. Okay, so this is numerical number 3 that we have seen in energy and power signals.